Text has been traditionally the primary way to disseminate information in education through books, printed materials, and recently with the advent of computers and the internet. In an online aligned course, text is organized and separated into separate paragraphs and including the proper headings to guide the participants or the reader to where the information is that they would be looking for. Now, text in an online environment, a web page, is connected to HTML, and HTML is the coding that formats how headings and paragraph sections and lists are organized in the web page. In an online course that is aligned, the text needs to be organized and formatted correctly. So what I will be showing you here um, is uh, a few ways, are a few ways to bring in text and format it correctly. First of all, if you are adding a page, for example, in Canvas, you can go to the modules and use the plus button, and you can go in the drop menu to the pages area, and you can select a new page. And you can title the page and add the item. So now, just like any web page, you are able to now go in and edit your page. So now you have a blank canvas where you can begin to add text. Now, of course, multimedia can also be added. But typically, a way to begin developing a page, typically, is to start with the text. So I have found a resource to the United States Constitution. And let's say that I need to have my students access the first article of the US Constitution. So what I do here is I select the area that makes up that section and I go ahead and copy. Now, uh, keeping in mind that whatever I am copying from, in this case, uh, an outside web source, I need to make sure that the copyright, the licensing, allows me to uh, use this um, in my course without having to link students to the actual website. So in this case, yes, the Constitution is uh, public domain. So now here's the key. All right, the key here is, the key principle is when I bring in the text, I want the formatting to come from the rich content editor and not from what's already been formatted on this web page. Why do I want this uh, formatting to come from the rich content editor? Because this is what makes the text accessible for those who would be using screen readers to read the text. And visually, it would make uh, the page uh, give you a starting point to begin to format it that visually you would have the right amount of space and headings for uh, the information. So what I will do now is I will, rather than just pasting, I will paste and match style or paste as plain text. And this will bring in the text that is unformatted. Okay. So I go back to the beginning. Now, remembering that in this case, the title is already a heading one. So now my article one should be the next level heading, okay? And that would be a header two, okay? Now, before I do that, let me show you 
in HTML what this looks like. Okay, so first of all, here's a section of text. All right, Article 1, the legislative branch. Section 1, and then you have a sentence. You have some kind of space before Section 2, and then a number 1, and uh, listing out the first item of Section 2, okay? So if I look in the HTML editor, and I scroll back to the top, I will see, in fact, that every section has a P tag, an opening P tag, bracket P, close bracket, and a closing P tag, bracket, forward slash P, close bracket. Okay, so in HTML, this is what actually separates these sections. Okay, so what I need to do here is separate the sections first so that each line that I'm reading across is in its own P tag, okay? So let's take a look at the first item. Article 1, legislative, and then I see another opening and closing bracket with a BR that is actually short for break, okay? So the easiest way to separate the Article 1 legislative section title from that first opening sentence is to go back to the rich content editor and simply put the cursor in front of the next section, or section 1 in this case, and just hit the enter return button. Okay, I will go ahead and do that with that third body of text and I will hit the enter button. Now if I go back and scroll up I will see that the sections have been separated into their own p tags. Okay, This is the proper way to separate text so that screen readers uh, can read it properly and that I will then be able to take the next step and add the proper heading. Okay, So what I will do now is I just need to put the cursor somewhere in this line of text. Okay, And I will go ahead and assign it an H2. So now the US Constitution is my H1 for the entire document or the entire page. Article 1 is a heading 2. Now, section one, because when you are assigning headings, you're following an outline format, so you follow a hierarchy, section one will then be assigned heading three or header three. Now, section two, let me make sure that it's in its own P tag, first of all. So I will hit the enter button and I will now make section two. A heading 3 or an H3. Okay, so what I am doing now is I am breaking up this page to have the right kind of spacing and the right heading structure that does not skip headings but follows 1, 2, 3 hierarchically. And under headings, if I have multiple paragraphs, then all I need to do is make sure that they are separated and I can use my arrow buttons, let me use the right arrow button, uh, going to the right, and then it shows, if you can see that, that it immediately goes to the next paragraph. So that should tell me that the HTML is correct. So now the HTML shows me that my heading 2, or my H2, is correct, my H3, a section of text in paragraph H3, a paragraph section, the next paragraph section, and so on and so forth. Now spacing in the HTML mode uh, is irrelevant. Okay, I could have all kinds of spacing in between points, but all that HTML is going to recognize is this is a paragraph section 
and this is the next paragraph section. Okay, so if I go back to the rich content editor, no space was added. Now, if I were to add a space by hitting the enter button, okay, this is actually problematic because in the HTML editor, what is created is this P tag that has this symbol that stands for non-breaking space. Okay, and this is uh, a section that a screen reader will read and has no meaning. So it is wasted space. And although it may look like, okay, I wanted that kind of spacing in the rich content editor, it's not uh, an equitable, um, it's not an equitable experience for all your students. So you can imagine it would just be a line of gibberish that wouldn't make sense, okay? So rather than spacing out using the space bar, this is where the horizontal rule can come in as a proper or an appropriate way to create spacing, and that's just by typing in the HTML editor open bracket hr forward slash close bracket okay so now i have a, de a delineating line that separates h2 from the sections okay all right let's talk a little bit about lists okay if i were to click in this area you would see that numbered list, the numbered list button is not being used. Okay, so in this case, I will need to add these numbered lists. Why? Because this is how a screen reader will be able to identify to the reader that it is in fact a list. So I will go ahead and find the end of this uh, ordered list one through five and I'll simply select now first I make sure that each number is sectioned off into its own paragraph so now I can go ahead and hit the button or select the button and it has identified the numbers so I no longer need the numbers that were typed in Okay. So moving forward, you can follow the same pattern to finish out a properly formatted page. And that is following the design guide in that when you are adding text to your web pages, you are formatting them properly by using the rich content editor tools and when needed to go into the HTML editor and make sure the HTML is correct. The headings are using, uh, are used for the correct reading order. There are no skipped headings. It makes sense. And of course the text is intuitive and it provides equitable and intuitive navigation for all your participants. Now I copied and pasted from a web page. Also know that you can follow that same uh, practice with copying and pasting from uh, PDFs, uh, from Word documents, and any sources where you are copying and pasting the text.